Hello, America. It's not morning. It's night. I thought I was going to make a special video today. In this video, we're going to be talking about the maker, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic from the Ultimate Universe. Are we underlooking a key player in the MCU? That's what I'm here. Show you the numbers. The maker. Some interesting characters. One of the few characters that survived from the Ultimate Universe when it got destroyed back in the pre Seeker War storylines. This comic book. This comic book could be a sleeper. So, this was sponsored by Sheba Comics and Things. As you can see, we have new items in our shop. We have Echo, our origin and first cover appearance. And we have Spider-Gwen, second appearance, with the first cover appearance of the Spider-Woman Alpha Team. Plus, this is the first time they were all three together on the same book on, on the cover. Plus, this is a print of three oh, 1500 and the color one is a print of 3000 I think for this price, these are grossly undervalued because this is, this is part one of the Spider-Verse. So, that storyline is ingrained in people's head now since we had the Spider-Verse movies one and then two's coming out so it's gonna be part of you know it's gonna it's gonna be here forever that's what i can say you know it's gonna become something more and this is part one and then these books specifically uh comics exposure variant that has silk gwen spider drew jessica drew spider woman and peter parker on the cover of course, we got the Rated 3 first, Dr. Afra. You know, 600. Yeah, it's moving up. But this is one of those that turned to like a $5,000 book. Like 10, 15 years from now, it's going to be like a $5,000, $10,000 book. People should buy them and put them away for their babies. Then we have other things. I don't know why people are buying these for me. I had these for a long time. But I'm noticing people are buying them and paying a premium, $200. It's like something is going on since I'm not really reading too much of the spa universe. So I'm kind of out of the loop, but I bought a, a ton of those back in the day. And of course, I got the Star Wars The Last Part of One right here, number one. But this is sponsored by Shiva Comics and Things. Long live the Shiva Hino Army. Boom. Leash. And a brand new baby she when she comes out let's continue see right here this is another book right here under value right here <sighs> and for now let's go so we are talking about Fanta ultimate fantastic four number one is the first appearance of this Ultimate Universe Fantastic Four. As you can see, it's first appearance. And it's first appearance because it's of this universe. This is where the first came out. Print run. Let's let's look. Let's look. Print run. We are looking at 173,000. It was number one that month. Pretty high. But in comic books terms, may not be that high. I believe... This book has been mis mistreated. It got graded. It has a lot of them that graded. But the ones that didn't get graded are sitting in comic, bo comic book shop back bins. Probably getting beat up. Probably like in the dollar bins and stuff like that. But this is the first appearance of Mr. Fantastic. And then we go to the volume 2 ultimate one. Which is the first maker. When he makes, he turns himself into the maker. See right here? The first appearance as the maker. 
are we going to get in Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness? Is the Reed Richards that's going to be seen by us there? It's not going to be the MCU Reed Richards. Are we going to see the Maker? It's interesting, isn't it? Or the other one is going to be the Reed Richard of 616 and the Reed Richard of the MCU is the Maker. But I just can't see them not bringing the Maker. If you're going to do Secret Wars and then if you're going to take from the last iteration of Secret War, well, I think it was 2015 to 16, that was a nice storyline. If you're going to take that area, how can you not have the maker? It makes no sense. Let's see the print run of this one right here. Print run of that one. Let me see. Is it somewhere around here? Y'all see, see it? Oh, right here. 47,630. That's a print run. You're going to be able to find these in your back bins. I thought that was very interesting to take a look at this book, this number one right here. You may be able to get these for a decent price on eBay. Let's look. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some for a decent price on eBay. All right, six dollars. They kind of went up. They used to be cheaper than this. But see, you can still get them for. But no, this is a trade paperback. But see, stuff like this will hit like the trade. Like really, how many of these trades were really water? So in reality, a good play for new newbies that are coming into collecting comic books. You should be collecting trades because trades are grossly. What I tell you grossly, I'm about to drop knowledge on you right here. The reason you should be collecting trades because the print run on trade is ridiculous minuscule compared to the comic book. Like something like this, I won't be surprised if the print run was under like 4,000, 3,000. All right, let's give them 7,000. And then it's been mistreated. How many of them could get graded 9.8 when you send the trade to get graded? Probably like a ten percent of the entire lot, man. You know, like a couple of hundred will make it. Hey, collect trades. Some money to be to be gotten in those hills. But you could get a regular one. The regular ones are still cheap. You know, they rising in value a little bit. I remember when it was like a dollar, two dollars. I see they going up in price. People are beginning to pricing that this is the maker. The rich richer that turns into the maker first appearance. So the, those prices are going up. You might find here and there a couple of them with a you know lower price. You buy other things from this buyer. See this one is all beat up. Like ridiculously beat up. But you can go to your comic book store and purchase. Again, we got to think outside the box. And we got to be ahead of the curve. God bless you. And long live the Shiba Inu Army. Bon, Leash, and the little sis, she. God bless you.